a little bit about Supreme. So ignore what I said about fucking spring usually being dead, but the winter collection is always the best when it comes to Supreme. So anyway, let's go on that one more time. So one of the better jackets I like is this jacket here with the star, the one that's, what is it called? It's called the star sleeve down puffer jacket. For me, the reason why I really like this is because I feel like this is something that Tremaine from Denim Tears would have made or would have lended his ear when it comes to some of the colorways for this because this feels exactly like something that Denim Tears would have done. It kind of reminds me um, of the flipping you know of the flag that he uses by the artist whose name kind of escapes me right now but it looks very similar to that. the only thing that i don't like about it is the fucking supreme on the back but it's something i just have to get used to now most supreme items and clothing are always going to have the fucking you know the word supreme blazing somewhere on the back or the sleeve of it i feel like the star design's enough but i feel like the you know maybe the black is sort of more tonal but the only color to get is definitely the red and the green that colorway is fucking incredible um star seal star sleeve down puffer jacket it's definitely one of my favorites so is this hell jacket actually um the photography is by who it doesn't say the oh the photography is oh really it's original by dash snow that's amazing i love how they incorporate little bits and pieces of dash snow lately in a lot of their collections i think last season we had the we had a fucking maybe a dash snow face or something or something else that was featured so little by little they're doing a lot more to kind of recognize dash snows sorry dash snow's legacy and influence and part he played in supreme's history so that's great to see this jacket here oh sorry this vest with the pins is awesome um i think a lot of people are debating whether or not the pins are all individually removable or if it's just an effect but i think they all are i think supreme has enough money to manufacture something like this at this level to be completely honest um and it looks fucking brilliant it looks very much like something um nate lauman would wear back in the day if he was hanging around supreme or jason deal or uh, who's the other guy um the other cute dude um Alex Olsen, he'd probably wear something like this, right? It's definitely in that kind of lane of things to wear. Loads of little crate, little badges that Supreme usually do over the years anyway, right? Don't be a dick, don't ask. Um, there's ride my face badge, middle finger badge, triple six badge. Um, there's a Sid Vicious drinking beer badge. Like loads of really cool little badges here on a nice quilted, um, is it quilted, insulated, whatever you'd call these vests. Let me see the description actually, see what they actually say. It says here, pins, quilted work vest, water resistant, quilted line on with enamel, pins and buttons and a 3M Finsulate insulation. So yeah, it's definitely going to be quite warm. Nice padded shape, nice boxy shape can be worn with a two of her hoodies and just about everything. Very versatile and easy piece. I'm definitely a fan of that. Also, I'm a big fan of this jacket, which is the featherweight down puffer jacket. Um, for me personally, this might be my favorite jacket of the whole entire collection. It's sort of, it's given me... Um, What's that brand that's kind of the above of Stone Island? Is it like 10C or something? I forgot the name of it, but it's kind of giving me that sort of vibe in terms of the finish. But oddly enough, you know what it does remind me of? It reminds me of this legendary Uniqlo jacket that I regret selling or giving away. I had like three of them. They released when Uniqlo maybe was at the peak of its years and maybe like 2012 or something in London. And he had these amazing down jackets with like V kind of you know stitching on it and they were somewhat reversible but not really but they came in black they came in purple a uh, red and whatever but it had this really amazing sheen shine to it right and this is kind of a similar sort of effect but i also love this lovely pattern um this shape on the inside we've got this big sort of like n you know circular type of shape around the top of the jacket that actually doubles up as two big pockets so you've got one pocket that goes down for your hands and one pocket that goes down here for your chest so you can kind of have your hands sitting up here as you were wearing a fucking bulletproof vest or you were an undercover cop or something i love that it looks fucking brilliant i'm a big fan of this jacket um and obviously the zips extend to the back also i'm not sure if they go all the way around i wonder what the zips are about it says lovely for the back here full zip closure with zip pocket at lower front and half zip stash pockets at cuff interior so i wonder if these are s s pockets or just just a pattern i wonder what this what this shape is but we'll probably see when people buy it and i love the tonal for me the tonal supreme label or this tonal supreme branding at the bottom is always one of my favorite bits um so i wonder when when someone eventually buys we see online we'll get to see what this is all about but the shape looks incredible and it's got a, it's got a nice hood on it also they're showing the trapper hat and the gloves 
I don't know if they mean the trapper hat and the gloves comes with the jacket. I don't think so. But I wonder why they're showing them together because usually they, they don't do this. Usually if they have a jacket that has a bottom, you just have to wait to get to the bottom to check them out. Um, but the, check, the fact that they're showing them together, maybe they come together. I'm not really too sure. Maybe. Maybe they come, they're sold as a pack. But regardless, um, the colors are great. Um, if I had to go for one, oddly enough, I might go for this Lion of Judah red colorway. It's really gaudy. It's really you know trashy looking but i've always loved this fucking pattern anyway in in general so i'd probably go for this lion um red colorway if i had to go for one personally i really love this this is fucking beautiful so yeah big up supreme for that one and let me get off of this go back watch everything i went to talk about here we saw that um this um rl sorry hr griger jacket is also hard bodied in the green as is as is this camo jacket here this jacket oh it's fucking again the jackets are too much i'd i'd, I'd probably wear every single one the hood design already look at the hood that hood is fucking banging that's covering your mouth and no it's just your eyes looking here you put a shiesty underneath that and you are incognito no one's recognizing you you got this amazing tree bark camo with the supreme here on the sleeve the 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 zip at a slight angle like the nice zips here like just beautiful design like love everything about it the inside yes look the, in white in coke white it looks fucking incredible in black it looks great like i'm all for this man this looks so good so it says here it says um uh, gore-tex 700 field down park that's what i want fucking beautiful it's got breathable gore-tex line on zip it's like 700 field interior it's got hand pockets interior elasticated sh shock cord um insulate fix hoodie and velcro tab adjusters too but yeah the hood for me design it's just a fucking real winner here that, that hood design you can't go wrong like that is definitely you know rubber bank worthy you know what i mean that's definitely stick up kid worthy i'm a big fan of that one so that jackets are good again loads of jackets i've purchased because again jacket season and of course the piece of resistance has to be them reissuing the tiger varsity jacket supreme don't usually do a lot of reissues especially super popular things i think one of the other popular varsity jackets was the supreme and double taps varsity from a few years ago also i think it might have been around this time might have been in twin might be even the year before but um they don't usually reissue things um i still remember the varsity jacket that i had i wish they would reissue that um supreme world famous let's see if i can go that one it's the one i had i had it, I had it in like brown and purple but i had to sell it because a little bit tight on me um, i think it was like a large but it, it, it might be an excel but it felt it felt more like an like a really small large but it was this varsity jacket that had a embroidery um of the empire state building head that was like lying flat or something right that was kind of looked like it was chopped off or something it was an incredible varsity jacket i think it was where was it if i can find it here Oh, I had it and I sold it many, many years ago. Had the Empire State's head on it. Let's see, Vars Supreme. Let's see, Varsity Jacket Empire. Is it Empire State Building Head? It's from many, maybe they don't have it even. It's from a few years ago. I forgot what the name of it is called. And it's got Supreme World Famous written on the sleeve, like an embroidery. Where is it? Okay. Oh, it's not here. Wow. Maybe it just doesn't exist. Maybe no one's got it. It's that old. It's from way, way, way back. But I'm sure people have had it before. World Hold on, Varsity Jacket. Let's just do World Famous. I think I found it last time like that. It was called World Famous. See if I can get it on here. Not that one. Not this. This is another good one. Actually, that one. But I want to find one here. That's the one. Is that the other one there? No, it's kind of like Avrex. My bad. It was like a Varsity jacket that had this really amazing, it was basically the head of the Empire State Building. That, it was kind of similar to that sort of color with the brown sleeves, but the head had been chopped off and it was sort of like on flat, embroidered on the back. It looked incredible, like really, really well done. But unfortunately, I can't seem to find anyone that's had, a, had one. Maybe I'm writing it wrong. But anyway, regardless to say, they don't usually reissue limited edition reissue kind of really legendary jackets like that anymore another one i'd wish they'd kind of reissue actually in this, when it comes to reissuing because i can't find that varsity jacket is this jacket um it was a jacket that had roses on it quilted 
Roses Quilted. <clears throat> I wish they would reissue this. Mm, quilted jacket. It came in a black and a blue. There we go, this one. I want them to reissue this. That's what I want them to reissue. If they want to reissue something, please, for the love of God, Supreme, reissue this jacket. Um, the Satin Rose Quilted Bomber. I had it in this color. Unfortunately, the one I bought was a fake from fucking... Um, I think it might have been Grailed or Depop or something and I had to sell it. But I'd wish to get another one. This is fucking one of my favorite jackets of all time. Um, Supreme. Definitely a Grail for me. This, this fucking quilted piece. Absolutely stupendous. I fucking love it. And of course, the last one I'd say, um, Supreme Anorak Aaron Bonder, obviously. The one that he modeled. I had this also, but I had to sell it. This is another thing that I wish they would fucking reissue. Again, from the day, from the era that I was fucking wearing this shit. Every, think, every freaking day, thinking I was looking like an absolute legend. Is it going to load here? <clears throat> if it doesn't load, we'll just move on. Let's see if I can find it. That's the one, yeah. So the one I would love them to reissue is this. Let's just see if it loads up. Yeah, that's the one. I want them to reissue this 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 jacket that Aaron Bondroff is wearing. Um, from this season, I forgot whatever season that was. This Anorak, I've, I had this. I wanted to reissue that. And there's another one also that had like a badge on the side of the sleeve that I also had. That I thought she had to sell. I think he might be wearing it. One of these pictures, I can't remember which one it was, but... It's a supreme anorak with like a badge on the side of it that I really want them to kind of to bring back one time. I think it might have been a fisherman. Let's see if I've got a fisherman or something. It's like a fisherman jacket. Fisherman, let's see if I can find it. I think it might have been a Parker actually. Fisherman Parker. Let's see if I can find that one. Okay, it's not here, but anyway, you know what I mean. They issue, they don't issue lots of things, but I want them to issue some of the things that I fucking love because I'm the most important person here. So anyway, this um, reissue is from, if I'm not mistaken, 2009, if I'm not mistaken, 2009. It's back in 2013 or 2023, sorry. Um, Playboy Carter is obviously one of the people that's known for wearing this, but everybody had this when it first dropped. I think it was, you know, hands down one of the better varsities they've done, especially because they've had a lot of duds. I felt like with varsities because they're easy to fuck up. But this is very, very well done. You've got the tiger, um, obviously emblem on the front. You've got the two S's, Supreme. You've got the 23 here. You've got these patches that says Tigers. You've got one that says Onward to Vicent, to Victory, Divine Mercy, um, but Regionals, USA 994. Um, you've got, yeah, it's just great jacket and obviously Supreme at the back. You've got an all black one that I probably wouldn't be a fan of, but the color that I'd definitely go for is this orange color and this sort of brown burgundy color because that red lining on that brown burgundy just hits so good so i'm a big fan of that that's amazing even just the color combo of blue white and this sort of like brown is fucking gorgeous so i'm all over this that's definitely going to be a standout piece and i assume many people are going to try and buy that over the next few days so good luck trying to snap a pair but it's good it's going to be available again you've got this great jacket here also gore-tex 100 ply down with the clips on it again an update or an update i feel like from the the one that dropped in spring summer 2023 again that was a similar type of short jacket but they've kind of elongated it put a hood on it and it's pretty cool i feel this jacket here the reverse hound's tooth jacket is very nice the black means um what you call it leather motorcycle jacket is beautiful it reminds me of like some crinkled up slp um designed by hedy slamane era type of jacket this umbro um supreme jacket is also very nice if i was into that kind of you know garb in terms of football faux football world wear it i'm loving this um faux for anorak also very native right um you've also got what else oh you got this jacket too which i think i said before this is designed if i'm not mistaken by a kid that's also modeling for supreme i think it's this this kid here where is he i think it's modeled by one of these kids who also works for them Okay, so it's not the wrong collection. Let me see the lookbook again. Let me go back. It's the wrong collection. It's the wrong lookbook, actually, wasn't it? So let's go to the front here. I think it's this lookbook, yeah, for spring, for fall, winter. There's a kid on here who actually is modeling for them, who actually has his own brand. I think he's actually got the look on himself, head to toe. This kid here, if I'm not mistaken, he actually had his own brand that does a particular type of, the similar type of design here with the, you know, with the embroidery, the contrast stitching, the panels and shit. And he's also been, you know, 
plugged in to help them do some design in house, which is great. I'm sure they've done this before because Supreme have a good, you know, they have a quite clearly a good sort of um, in house team. And they love to promote people in house as well instead of going externally, which is great. Um, this jacket here is also great. This two in one Gore Tex Polar Tech jacket looks very, very, very fantastic. I'm um, all over that. I love it more so in this kind of pinky, it's washed out pink color, is just sublime. As is this fleece over here. Um, and just too many other great pieces, man. The whole collection is fucking flames. Another standout for me is um, the, obviously the hell shirt is banging. Um, the photography about that snow, but one of the standouts for me is this these coach jackets. I remember being such a fan of coach jackets when I was first going to streetwear because it's obviously a quintessential streetwear item like the t-shirt, like the baseball cap, like the jeans, like the sneakers. Um, co you know, coach's jacket can go with just about anything. They look great with vans, they look good with shoes, shorts, whatever. Um, and Supreme generally do a really good one. And this is a very simple coach jacket in terms of, you know, the, what do you call it? The kind of, co you know, the, the the shiny whatever material outer that is and then it's got a nice kind of lining on the inside which they said here is cotton with a taffeta sleeve lining which is nice and then it also comes with these nice little cutaways also so you've got a, a great a great green kelly green maybe you got a navy and you got an orange and a black if i was going to go for colorways i'll probably go for anything but black maybe orange and green and maybe third black but orange and green definitely the two colors i'd probably go for in this type of garb so you've got the coach's jacket which i've showed you you've got the hell t-shirt there's a nice button-up shirt here the lined flannel snap shirt is fucking brilliant supreme's ability to put together a good plaid shirt is very very unparalleled as is this plaid flannel shirt here with this, this plaid design um this uh thermal sleeve work shirt is also very good you can cosplay somebody else to fix things i love this silk map cardigan um this jersey with the bones on the top is just fucking great like there's just so much good shit i feel like this shirt reminds me a little bit of the brazil shirts that all the i the, all the tiktok baddies are wearing um it's called the uh, glazed athletics short sleeved top it kind of reminds me of that maybe because of the color combo one thing i'm confused about and pissed about they didn't actually do more of is this this blow shirt this blow sweatshirt, sorry, I'd definitely wear, obviously for more reasons than not, but I feel like this design or this font would work incredibly well on a hat or a snap hat, a beanie or something, but I checked it last time, maybe, I'm, maybe I was rushing or maybe I was too excited and my dick was too hard and I couldn't pay attention, but I don't remember seeing the same logo or design on any other piece of clothing that he had available. It's just a sweatshirt, but I wish they would do this blow thing on other bits and pieces of my computer's taking ages to load, but I feel like this design would work really well on other bits and pieces, this blow thing. Let's just load it here one more time. Computer's running a bit slow, bear with me a second here but I wish they would do this design with some other bits and pieces, but for some reason they haven't. And we have to kind of just do with the fucking sweatshirt. But I do like it to be fair, it does look pretty cool. Oh, and I also love the cable knit jumper here that again, or cable knit cardigan, sorry, that definitely reminds me of stuff that Jermaine has done at Denim Tears. I'm not too sure if this is something that he had his hand on, if it's something they just done in, in house or, you know, without his involvement, but still this, Patchwork cable knit cardigan is fucking beautiful. You've got this very chunky cable knit jumper with these great um, wooden buttons on it that look fucking gorgeous. Like, look at the buttons, like, great. Don't get me wrong, there's, you know, so the, the, the logo on it is kind of giving swastika, but apart from that, I love the fucking um, look of it with the patchwork all over it again, with the different types of cable knit or different colors of cable knit jumpers all patched into each other to make the cardigan and then they got this more ethnic urban 80s you know um runs out no fresh prince of bel-air type of style patchwork jumper as well which i'm also a big fan of and um, that looks absolutely incredible i'd wear the fuck out of that and i'm not usually a fan of cardigans and that kind of you know frothy faffy jake's drake's type of wear or jake's drake's type of wear you know the brand not the artist i also love this 
um, RL polo influenced um, rose rugby shirt. This is definitely going to be very popular with a um, certain group of, um, you know, Supreme fans like the patches, the embroidery, the color combination of it in white is fucking gorgeous. The other colorway is not really anything to shout back, shout home about. The black and the pink colorway is a bit naff, but I feel like this colorway in the white is fucking great. It's fucking beautiful, 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 beautiful. I cannot deny, I love that. I also love this um, plaid shirt. I think Supreme always do a good job with their plaid shirts. Um, as you can see here, the designs, this one, if I'm not mistaken, has snap buttons, it's a bit thicker, so it kind of wears a bit like a jacket, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, actually, if you zoom in a little bit, you can actually see it's more of a jacket than it is anything else, isn't it? Yeah, you can actually see here, it's more of a jacket actually there. As you can see, there's more of a jacket type of vibe. Unfortunately, there's no pockets on the side. That's kind of a bit of a shame. But again, lovely flannel nonetheless. Uh, Supreme on the back is a bit un, you know, unnecessary, the embroidery. But hey, you know, they have to let people know what it's about when it comes to the shirts. And then if I keep scrolling down and pass all the other good shit, there's, there's so many good things here. We'll get onto some of the hats, which I love, which I love. Scroll down here with the hats. Too many good ones to mention. Um, obviously, I can only wear five panels and shit. I can't wear camp cats, so fuck all the rest of them. The one with the um, this this design here. Was what is it? Was it called? It's called the uh, Neil Blender Arrow um, Six Panel. I'm a big fan of this one, so big up that one. Well, especially the shape as well. The shape is fucking incredible. And big up Neil Blender on the official artwork. The shape on this is hats are so good. Like they look incredible on. They're gonna fit my big rotund fucking head shape. And then we've also got the ones I like is this one with mess logo or the mess sort of badge on it. Um same can go for the Camacho one. And obviously the pinned bucket hat I'd wear the fuck out, but I can't wear bucket hats, my head shape just doesn't mess with them. I also like this pin up mesh, this pin up five panel mesh is brilliant. This hat a little bit, I'm not sure if you guys agree. But this hat kind of reminds me of Mizzy. I wonder if they've been influenced by Mizzy. This hand-tied beanie with these little frilly bits on it kind of reminds me of the kind of classic, um, iconic Mizzy hat. Mizzy the prankster that goes around getting arrested for telling people that reality is illusion and walking into people's houses and shit. That kind of reminds me a little bit of him. But um, yeah, free your door or bang your doors, Mizzy, if you're in jail. If you're not in jail, get well soon. One, one or the other. Um, what else I love? Oh my god! Let's let's talk about the last bit here. Cause I don't want to come too much because I'm so excited. But the other thing that I want to talk about, that I'm really excited about, is this backpack. This might be one of the best backpacks I've seen them design in a while. And again, I'm a big fan of Supreme Day from time to time. And I've also got a bunch in my collection that I have from previous years. But this might be one of my favorite designs. Like especially when it comes to the you know the the what you call it especially when it comes to the different panels and shit and the shape of it overall like god almighty this looks fucking beautiful so a backpack water resistant nylon rips up um x-pack laminated base with a free and reflected molded logo which is for me the beauty to find a touch of it i kind of want a red backpack i would probably get another type of model on these but i think if i was to get this i would definitely get it in this colorway which is kind of gray blue this champagne colorway in black um, you got the nice chunky straps, nice comfortable on the back with these little molded bits as well to kind of alleviate some of the stress and kind of allow you to perspirate a little bit better. It also comes in red, which is absolutely gorgeous, and this coke white color as, as well as the black. But the best bit is this. Look at the fucking 3M glow. Look at that 3M fucking glow. Are you crazy? Imagine being on the back on the back of your fixie, riding, walk, running down the street in, on your twenty nine inch BMX, hurling expletives at people walking by you, and then having this glow of supreme on the back of you while you're riding. I fucking love it, man. One of my favorite bags. This backpack is so brilliant, and of course, some of the other bags in the collection are also great. Um, this tote bag is also a fucking underrated in terms of its shape overall, as a as a kind of daily. DJ baggy type of, you know, something a bit bigger than a side bag and something not as big as a backpack. I actually might go for these as my daily drivers because at the moment I'm carrying a fucking Telfar bag, which feels a little bit corny, but I think I might have to start going for these totes because they do them every year. 
um, this shape, but I generally never kind of jump on them. But they look really good, especially with these, you know, these color combos. Maybe with this, I'd probably opt to go in the red or the black. But I do like the shape of them. Obviously, the fucking waist bag is fucking brilliant. I'm now a fan because I'm a little bit older. I'm now a fan of just wearing a waist bag, like a waist bag, actually having it on my waist. It looks pretty cool, as opposed to having it across your fucking body like a cross bag. Um, then you got these little small bags. The shoulder bags are pretty decent to put little things in and they've also got these small cinch bags which you'd assume will be used to climb but most people are going to store them to have their little fucking their nanks and their little pills in there and shit when they go on festivals and then you've also got these leather bags which i feel like probably be the better option to do if i was going to get a whole red backpack because the red one in leather looks beautiful it'll probably be very expensive because it's made out of leather so i'm assuming this might be like 600 or maybe more but the leather bags are fucking gorgeous man they look so good so the small pouch bags as well so big up them for putting those together and then i think that might be it and i think the last thing to talk about of course is the fucking supreme technics turntables which are going to be flying off the shelves if they've made them to spec if they've made them you know how you'd think they're going to be able to make them these are going to be flying out of the door and i can't wait for them to eventually make their own fucking pioneer cdjs those are going to be really popular so you see here there's a pair of supreme technic sl um 120 mark 7 turntables uh, you know, the quintessential legendary turntable that all your DJs, favorite DJs have kind of played on over the years. Some of them, not so many, but it's essentially white on the top because most of them are black. And then you've got the Supreme label and you've got the Supreme label on the slip mat. And that's about it, it looks like. But instead of that, it's just all being, I guess, maybe made to spec or maybe reissued. Let's actually read the, the description. The Technics SL1200 um, series of DJ turntables features a cordless direct drive motor, vibration damping platter, 78 RPM speed with wider pitch adjustments, reverse play functions and removable cables, hingeless dust cover with printed logos, inset, metal badge at base and printed logo on the slip mat cartridge not included so no what you call it no needle or anything as per usual you would just get the fucking turntables but they look fucking brilliant really fucking good i can't imagine what clubs will end up having them because these are going to get trashed so quickly people already destroyed turntables in clubs anyway don't treat them with any respect so you can imagine what supreme ones are going to look like especially after people's k drug filled hands have been knobbed all over them but that's an amazing accessory as they always do with their little knickknacks they're always fucking fantastic and then the other knickknack that i like also is the skull right the skull with the fucking gold grill those are great these headphones are fucking fantastic um these um supreme cos porter pro headphones i like the look at them because they just remind me of like um old school headphones like with a wired cable on them and just like walkman type of headphones but i wonder if they are they actually sound good i actually wouldn't mind tearing take checking them out as a novice audio file myself to see what they actually sound like and um, maybe there'll be something to use for podcasting you never know so that's an actual good tip but overall great collection i don't want to wank too much about it because i've already fucking probably bored you guys all to death about it but absolutely fantastic loved every little bit about it and i can't wait to see some of this stuff in store see some people wearing this in real life and obviously be able to purchase some of the stuff myself when it eventually drops the lookbook is fantastic i'm not sure if they purposely sized up everything everyone's wearing but the styling is amazing the photography is brilliant it all looks so wearable like that that jacket is just so hard like come on man you can't tell me this jacket's not hard um yeah everything about it is fucking amazing and great i want every piece of it as is usual you know with supreme they do a good job of making you want everything that they fucking make um every fucking season and yeah i can't wait to see it eventually in people's hands when they eventually do get it but yeah brilliant stuff from supreme we love everything we can't wait for it to drop so check it out when it does drop i think according to them Where's the news here? Which tell you when they're gonna drop it here. They said it's gonna be available in stores and online for the seventeenth, and then available in Japan stores on the nineteenth. Blah de blah blah blah. So check that out if you can. And let's see, random is random NBA young boy. No NBA um, random is the hood fishing guy. So pick up him um, for doing that, and we're gonna see some more bits I guess coming up when it comes up. So big up them. Big up.